I want to show you some nice easy things you can do with links and anchors to make your page work a little bit better, a little bit faster. One of the things that we tend to run across a lot is if you have a long page on the web, I'm sure you've all seen this before, there's a bit of text that says back to top. And if you click on it, it takes you back to the top of the page. Now the way that works is we create a text link that links to what's called an anchor. An anchor is basically just an A tag that sits somewhere in your page. It doesn't really do anything, but it allows you to link to a part of your page. That's why they call it an anchor. So to get this done, what we do is, let's say we've got a series of questions here, and I want to be able to click on a question and scroll down to the question and answer. So what we need to do is create an anchor first to link to. So I put my cursor where I want the page to scroll to after I click a link, right there in front of what is your return policy. I'll come up to the insert menu and choose named anchor. Now you name these according to, let's say, what part of the question is. Just use a keyword. Keep it really simple. I try not to number them, things like that. If I click OK, it'll insert the anchor. The anchor is something you won't really see on the web, which is good. But you see it in Dreamweaver, so you can delete it or move it. Down here in the property inspector, you'll see that with it selected, the anchor, you'll see the name. You can change that at any time. Now, here's how we link to it. If I select what is your return policy, come down to the point to file down here. You're going to see the little bullseye guy. Click and drag. Hover over the anchor itself and let go. It should say pound return right here in link. Pound return means go to the anchor named return on this page. And there's our link. So if I save the page, go out to the browser and take a look at it to test it, I can click on the link and what it should do is scroll down the page until my anchor is flush with the top of the page there. There we go. All right, let me go back. Now, a couple of quick ways to get this done. If you have a lot of these you want to do, what we can do is come out here and insert our cursor, let's say for the next one for the anchor and how do I purchase. If I use Command Option A on Mac or Control Alt A on Windows, it'll insert an anchor. I'll name it. I'll call it, let's say, Purchase. Now, if I want to link to it, I can select how do I purchase here? And if you hold down the shift key after you move your cursor away, you can literally click and drag from the, the text here to the anchor. Now, I have problems with this sometimes, so I'm going to try and save my page. If I hold down the shift key, click and drag, you're going to see it does this kind of stuff sometimes. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to close my page, open it back up. Sometimes you can go to code view and it works. I'll select how do I purchase, hold down the shift key, click and drag and I should see this. So shift, click and drag. If I scroll down a bit, it should scroll my page, get down to the bottom, you can see that. If I come to the anchor, let go of the mouse, let go of the shift key, I've got my link. Like I said to you guys, sometimes, especially on Mac, I'm on a Mac right now, it tends to kind of mess that up a little bit. It wants to select your text. But there we go, nice quick way to do that. Now if you guys want to insert, let's say, a back to top link, if I scroll down my page a little bit, and maybe I want to put one right here, I can insert my cursor somewhere, hit a return, type in whatever you guys want. I'll type in uh, back to top, which is what most people will do. Now, I'm not going to create my link yet. We need to create an anchor to link to. So I'm going to scroll up. I need to put it at the very top of the page, somewhere right up here above all the content. So what I tend to do is I tend to go to what's called split view or code view, Scroll up. As soon as you find somewhere up here the body tag, you're going to see right there, it says body. Right after the body tag, I'll put my cursor after this little brace right there, a little less than sign, or greater than sign. I'll hit return. If I insert my anchor using the insert menu or command option A, control alt A, I can just insert an anchor called top, which is an acronym for top of page, whatever. I'll click OK. There we go. Now it's really weird. It doesn't look like it's putting it in there, but you can see it right there. If I go out to design view, take a look. Of course, it didn't do it, which is awesome. So I'm going to try that again. <laughs> I tell you, sometimes top, click OK. Oh, look, there it is. OK, it just didn't do it that last time. I'll go back to design view. I'll save my page. Scroll down. Once again, you guys, you can try to select the text. Hold down the shift key, click and drag from it. If that is not working for you, especially on a Mac, I can come down to the point to file down here, click and drag, come all the way up, 
if you come to the top edge of the page, what it should be doing is it should scroll for you. If you come right up here, there we go. Got to be a little patient. Hover over the anchor, let go, and there we go. We've got our back to top link. Now, what's really cool about this back to top link, you guys, is if you're using, let's say, a template and you create a templated page, you would put this little anchor, this top anchor right here, on the template before you create all your pages or even after. It doesn't matter. And you can still link to it on a page that's made from the template, which is really neat. All right, last thing here. If you want to show, let's say, a link on one page that links to another page, that's pretty simple. We just create a text link, right, or some kind of link. But we can also link to an anchor on another page. So you can link to another part of a page. So, for instance, I've got a little link over here that says check out our other stories. And what I want to do is I want to link to a page that I've created called Contact. And I want it to scroll down and link to somewhere else in the page. Like, let's say right down here. Now, you guys, you got to use your imagination here. I know this is kind of lame. I don't have a, like, a lot of content. But you can have it link anywhere in the page you want. What I did was I inserted a little anchor here. And let me rename this. I'll call this Stories. So if you guys insert an anchor somewhere, what we can do is we can link to that from another page. So if I go back to the page I'm linking from, here's the catch. You want to make sure that both pages, the one you're linking from and the one that you're linking to, are saved. The next step here is you cannot link by having them tabbed like this. So we need to be able to show these side to side or, ta or cascade or tiled. So if I come up under Window with the two pages open, I can see it says cascade or tile. I'm going to use tile because it will put them kind of next to each other. Select the text you're linking from. If you do your shift drag, you should be able to get it over there. So if I hold down the shift key, click and drag, point out, hover over the anchor I'm going to, right there, you can see it. Let go of my mouse, let go of the shift key. The link is on there, and if you look down in the links panel down here, you're going to see, or excuse me, the property inspector, you're going to see the link field. It says, go to the contact.html page, and on that page, go to the anchor named stories. So that's it. All we had to do is basically make it so we can see both pages. If I save the page, I'm going to make it so they're back to tab view. So I'll come under window and combine them as tabs. I'll maximize here. I'll go out to the browser, try it, and let's say Firefox. I'm going to check them all out here. So if I click check out our other stories, it should go to the other page and scroll down to wherever my anchor was. Now you're going to notice here that if the anchor is too close to the bottom of the page, it will not bring this content to the top because literally if you look there's the footer there's nothing below this so it just stops where the end of the page is so sometimes you get to run into stuff like that you're also going to run into where if you guys create links like these or a back to top situation and the page is really short it may not do anything because there's no scrolling involved but if I try these out I'll go to how do I purchase click on that should take me down click back to top should take me back to the top so just some, some quick, nice, easy things you can do with anchors and links to make it so that people can kind of jump around your site and you know make it a little bit easier to work with.